Women of Achievement honors women who work to improve St. Louis. And joining me is Gwendolyn Packett, who is the Vice President of the Women of Achievement, a wonderful organization here in St. Louis um, that honors women in our community who give a lot of their time to volunteering and other achievements throughout the year. So before we talk about anything else, let's talk about this year's 2016 honorees because there's some really great women and we're going to be Absolutely. seeing pictures of them pop up on our monitor. Let's, um, let's tell me a little bit about each of them. So first we have Dr. Maimuma, Maimuma Beg. am I pronouncing that correctly? Yes. She's being honored for community health. These are awe-inspiring women, and Dr. Baig is certainly no exception. Um, over 30 years in a medical practice, and she recognized that there was an increasing number of uninsured individuals in our affluent parts of St. Louis mm. that would use the emergency room as opposed to having a primary care physician. Fast forwarding, what she did about that is solicit her cohorts and like-minded people. Today there exists Crossroads Clinic and as well West County Clinic uh, Volunteers in Medicine. Interesting, and Carol Beeman, who's um, being honored for community welfare. Carol is passionate about so much, but what comes to mind is her work with CASA. It's the mm. court-appointed special advocate for young people, primarily those who have been abused or neglected, as well in her other time that she somehow manages to magically get in, she does community meals for the homeless, mm -hmm. making certain that at least once a week they have a really good meal. She too has solicited the support of others, including her church, and she's writing grants to expand that project. All right, I'm already intimidated and feeling a little inadequate. Let's go on. <laughs> Tell me about Ronnie Brockman. She's being honored for youth enrichment. Ronnie Brockman had a transformative experience of her own when she met a seriously ill young person. And this young person said, I have one wish. And that one wish is to attend a summer camp. Mm. That changed not only Ronnie's life, but it changed that young person's life. Mm. 28 years later, there exists Camp Rainbow and over 5,000 ill children who are seriously ill, diagnosed that as seriously ill, have uh, attended this free camp and it's been transformational in their lives. That's incredible. Etta Daniels, who is um, being honored for historic preservation. Yes, Etta Daniels returned to St. Louis, a native St. Louisan, returned and thought, I think I'm gonna go and visit the gravesite of my great-grandmother. She took a trip to the Greenwood Cemetery, which is one of the oldest African-American cemeteries here in St. Louis. But she readily saw that it was missing its original aesthetic appeal. Mm. And so 16 years later, she's vigilant about restoring the beauty so that no other person who goes to that gravesite will see anything but the beauty that once was there. That's great. Yes. Um, Lynn Friedman Hamilton is your designee for older adult services. Lynn Friedman Hamilton has done a tremendous job and is doing um, an incredible job as the founder of Maturity and its Muse. She's an advocate for the mature person. Mm -hmm. And so she creates programs through the arts to empower them and inspire them to be all they can be in this aging process uh, through the arts. That's fantastic. We have five more, and we're yes. going to talk about them in just a minute. We're going to take a quick break, Gwendolyn, and uh, come right back, hear about the next five designees, and hear about the great event honoring them um, coming up in a couple weeks. So stay with us at STL Live. We'll have much more with the Women of Achievement. You'll hear about them, actually, after this break.